Today we are talking about mitotic cell division. Cell is the smallest unit of our body. Everything of our body is made up of some kind of cells. We always need new cells for repairing or growth or to replace the old cells. The process by which we get new cells, the exact copy of the old cells, is the process named mitotic cell division. So this is one cell with cell membrane, nucleus, nucleolus and the chromatin fibers inside the nucleus. This is the cytoplasm which contains lots of cell organelle and this is one important cell organelle for cell division that is centrosome. By mitotic cell division we get the exact copy of the mother cell. That is why mitosis is called the equal division. Before starting with mitosis, I want to clear the difference between the chromatin fiber and the chromosome. Chromatin fiber is a loosely packed form of the chromosome. When the chromatin fiber gets tightly packed, it becomes the chromosome or it takes the structure of the chromosome. So chromatin fibers are the loosely packed chromosome which are normally seen inside the nucleus. During cell division, it takes the structure of the chromosome. Before the mitotic cell division, there is a phase which is called the interphase. During this phase, everything inside a cell gets a copy of it. That is, it gets duplicated within the one cell that is going to divide. Because after dividing, it will form the exact copy of the same cell. So during mitosis, the exact copies only gets differentiated from each other. So during the interphase, this is one chromosome which will form the exact copy of this chromosome but it remains attached to each other to the centromere to the centromere of the chromosome so this is the previous chromosome and the, this is the copy of it these two are called chromatids this is one chromatid the other the copy is the sister chromatid and where they are attached is the region of centromere where there is a protein present kinetochore which are attaching the two sister chromatids. Now starting with the process of the mitosis. Now we have the exact copy of the cell inside the one cell. Now we have to separate the two copies from each other by mitotic cell division. The mitotic cell divisions occur by two process. One is nuclear division that is the separation of the copies of nucleus and the cytoplasm division where the cytoplasm gets divided into two cells. The nuclear division is called karyokinesis and the cytoplasm division is called cytokinesis. This is the cell which is ready to divide that is going to the mitotic cell division. It has two copies of chromosome, two copies of centrosome and everything doubled inside this cell. Now during nuclear division there are four steps of nuclear division the first step is prophase second is metaphase third is anaphase and the fourth is telophase now let's look into the phases separately so the first phase of the mitotic cell division is prophase during the prophase, what happens inside the dividing cell? So this is the cell and this is the cell membrane. 
and inside the cell the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane breaks down and it gets disappeared slowly in the prophase in the next step the nucleolus which was present inside the nucleus also disappears and now in the third step the centrosomes the two centrosomes the duplicated ones one centrosome remain at one pole and the other centrosome travels or moves towards the opposite pole of the cell now they are situated in the opposite positions of the cell in the fourth step the centrosomes will release some microtubular structure called the astral rays the astral rays radiate from each centrosome and they radiate towards the center of the cell the chromatin fibers which were present inside the nucleus gets tightly packed and takes the form of the chromosomes these are the chromatin fibers which have shortened and thickened to take the structure of the chromosome now the prominent structure of the chromosomes are present inside the prophase the next step of mitotic cell division after prophase is metaphase the next step in the metaphase what changes we see in the cell during the metaphase the astral rays which were radiating from the centrosome they extend in length and reach the chromosomes when the astral rays reach the chromosomes they connect to the centromere part of the chromosomes they connect to the kinetochore which is present at the attachment area of two chromatids now these astral rays are connected to the chromosomes these are the astral fibers which connects to the chromosomes at the kinetochore which is present in the centromere of the chromosome now the astral rays are forming a structure called spindle like structure the whole structure of the astral fibers are forming is the spindle like structure now the chromosomes during metaphase comes to the equator region of the cell or the middle line of the cell this is the equator region of the cell that is the center of the cell at the periphery as the chromosomes are tightly packed that is they are prominently visible and arranged in the specific region it is the best time to count the number of chromosomes and study the chromosomes during metaphase now after metaphase the stage comes is the anaphase now what happens in anaphase in the metaphase the astral rays coming from the centrosome were connected to the centromere or the kinetochore of the chromosomes or the sister chromatids now during anaphase the two sister chromatids separate from each other as it divides in the centromere region where they were attached after the separation each sister chromatid moves towards the opposite pole from each other this movement of chromosome is called the anaphasic movement so the first point of the anaphase is division of the centromere and formation of the daughter chromatids or daughter chromosomes these are the daughter chromosomes as they have separated from each other 
and moving towards each pole and this movement is called the anaphasic movement during the anaphasic movement the chromosomes structure appears different in different cases as the central mere is situated at different region in case of different chromosome if the centromere is at the center of the chromosome it shows the structure v if it is uh, slightly upwards from the center it it shows the structure l and other structures like j and i english alphabets similar to the english alphabets are also seen in the anaphasic movement of the chromosomes after the anaphase the last stage of mitosis is the telophase during this phase the chromosomes have already moved towards the opposite poles from each other now during this telophase the chromosomes again gets loosely packed and forms the chromatin fibers from the chromosomes as it was before the division of the cell now the chromosomes elongate and form chromatin structure and the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane comes back to each of them surrounding the chromatin fibers and the region of the nucleus the nucleolus again reappears so the two different nucleus has been formed already and these are the centrosomes which were present in the opposite poles so these are the two separate nucleus which has been formed during the mitotic cell division so the karyokinesis or the nuclear division is complete and now comes to the cytokinesis that is the cytoplasm division the division of the cytoplasm that is cytokinesis starts from the anaphase of the karyokinesis from the anaphasic stage of the karyokinesis the cytoplasm of the dividing cell shows a cleavage furrow at the center of the dividing cell or the center of the cytoplasm now the cleavage furrow deepens farther and farther during the cell division and at some time the cleavage reaches each other and the cytoplasm is pinched off to two different cells which have now the separate nucleus by karyokinesis and forms the two daughter cells which has separate nucleus and separate cytoplasm